Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we're gonna finish up the June, July 2020 Information Technologies CISEC Paper One. So we're gonna finish up the one that we started last time. We reached up to number 13 in the last IT video, and so we're gonna finish this June, July 2020 Information Technology CISEC Paper One. But of course, before we do so, you know what to do. You like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you hit the bell so you know when Learn SKN drops another video. All right, exam is rapidly approaching, so you know just subscribe and hit the bell so you know when time comes for our next video. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Thirty-one. Which of the following are not categorized as system software? And so the answer here is, of course, A. Productivity tools. Most of the other ones are system based and they operate on the system level such as the OS, you know, you have Google Translator, or if you have utilities like antiviruses and anti-malware and those things, that's where they operate. But productivity software, like you have your Adobe and your, uh, your Adobe Photoshop, your Premiere Pro, all those things, they operate on a different level, not within the system itself. All right, good. 32, which, of the, which part of the central processing unit, CPU, coordinates its activities? And so the answer is, of course, the control unit. It's actually in the name as it, uh, right there. Coordinate control, so the control unit. 33. Before purchasing a computer, James was given a sheet with the following hardware specifications. And so you see them the Intel 4, you have 64 bit, 533 megahertz, uh, 300, 3.6 gigahertz, 2 gigs, 50 RAM, uh, 160 gig. Serial ATA hard drives 7,200 7, RPMs. The word use of the word use of the computer is, and so the best answer here is B 64 bit. All right, that's the extent to which it goes. That's the you know you have a 32 bit, you have a 64 64 bit, and so this one best describe the level of processing and things like that that this computer can accommodate so you have the two gigs right there 700 is only the rpm at the speed of the hard drive uh five is the frequency of the sometimes the ram or uh, sometimes the old school processors will have that level of frequency and of course the 64-bit is what really tells you about instructional level and things like that for computers all right so that's why that answer is that Okay, good. Moving right along. 34, which, of the, which type of interface allows the user to communicate with computer system by keying in instructions? And when you hear keying, you're talking about typing. And so we know that one is the D, the command driven. You have to type in everything in a command line to get things done. 35. A webmaster is important in a company because he or she, A, is responsible for a company's website. So that's, that's a very obvious question. Obvious answer, I must say. He's responsible for the company's website, make sure he hosted properly, clean it up when you're ready, that kind of thing, security, all that stuff. That person is in charge of that aspect of the computer's website, the computer company's website. 36. Which of the following is an example of correctly formatted email address? Everybody know what an email address is. We all of us have, has, have one. And so the answer is A. Lana.happy at whatever.net or whatever, you know, dot com, whatever. But the at comes after the initial name. All right, 37. Which of the following types of software should be used for applications that involve repetitive numerical calculations? And so the best answer here is, of course, the spreadsheet. Because all the word processing is, as it says, for process word processing. Presentation, you know, you have PowerPoint and things like that. And you don't really, PowerPoint is a presentation is a after you finish. After you don't crunch everything, you can pre present them. Then you have the database that's basically for storage of data. So the best answer is spreadsheet. You do your Excel and you, do, you, you, go, down, you go to town. 38, selecting a highlighting, selecting or highlighting a paragraph creates a, so that's a new word when you type in, and it's like a paragraph, you create a B, a block. You see these things come up to show that this is one block. 39. The following formula is located in position B6 of the spreadsheet. Equal B3 plus B4 plus SB well, dollar sign 5. What would be the resulting formula 
if the initial formula was copied to the position located immediately at the left. And so the immediate left would be, of course, A, and so the answer is C, A3, A plus A4 plus A plus dollar sign, B dollar sign five. Okay, good. So 40, let's go, we're going good, 40. In creating a query, a student entered the following criteria for the, for the date field. So you have it right there. The output will show days. B, from the 11th to the 14th May 2017. Of course, you have the greater than or equal to, you have the date there, and then you have and less than or equal to and you have the date there yeah, so that makes sense because greater than or equal to so it's anything between equal to 11 or greater but less than the 14th so that's how we get the answer right there all right spreadsheet formula use spreadsheet formula use values ranges or cell addresses so that's c values ranges or cell addresses all right 42 which of the following buttons can be used to fully justify text? And so you have D, right? So you're going to try to make it a nice block with all the words and everything. The lines are the same, the same length. Yeah, so if it was B, that would have been what? Right, A, left, and C would have been centered. So D would be your justifying the text. 43 refers to the following table containing data on three countries, A, B, C. For 2018 2019 which of the following types of charts is not suitable for representing the data above and so the best answer here is a pie chart right a pie chart will just give you you're not going to give you the, the, the intricacies as to what you want you cannot really compare per se the two, because this is two years and different inputs and so the pie chart wouldn't really compare that all too good so the best chart is any of the other one. The bar would show the different years, length, everything, line and column, the same thing. So the best answer is A, which will not suitable for that one. The figure that, uni the figure that uniquely identifies a record in a database is called the A primary key. Primary key. 45. Which of the following consequences of steps, which of the following sequences of steps is correct for deleting a field in a database table so let's go so you have b you open the table in design view select row to to be deleted and right click choose the delete row option choose yes to confirm deletion and just like that you have deleted a field in a database table 46 refers to the following database table have them right there the database table above shows records sorted by and the best answer is d items in descending order and you can see the you can see the different items right there hammer hammer so that's the item right there but they have them in descending order in terms of the quantity so you have the, the hammer 20 hammer 40 then fork 35 fork 40 fork 45 Okay, so it's like two different criteria for that one. The item, number, and then the descending order. 47. Which of the following clearly identifies a hyperlink on an HTML document? And so you have options. A link to an email address. A link to another web page. A link to another location within the web page. And so the best answer is all. If you check it out, all of them would have a hyperlink. Once they're in a, a Word document or a PDF or anything like that, all of them would have the hyperlink. All right, 48. Which of the following is used for executing HTML code? Which of the following is used for executing HTML code? And of course, the answer is a browser. That's where you go, you Chrome or you Bing or whatever. That's normally written in HTML. All right, good, 49, which, the, which security feature offers the least protection to a Word document? You have A, restricting editing, B, adding a digital, a digital signature, C, encrypting with password, or D, saving as compatible with the appropriate software version. <laughs> that don't really offer much security indeed. 
person just have to get the the, the, the version and they can open it. And even if they have an older version, you might open it. It might be a little, you know, disjointed, but it's still opening. Number 50 refers to the following spreadsheet. So you have 8 equals sum B2, B6. Okay, good. If the formula in cell B8 is copied to, to, to the shaded cell C8, then the information in C8 would be C sum c2 dot dot c6 so that's the answer for that one because it's, it's the next one right to the left so it's a b and so you're gonna be the next one to the left to differentiate it very simple actually all right 51 refers to the following algorithm read a b if a is less than b then print a okay good so which is the following task does the following algorithm perform and the answer here is read two numbers and print the number if it is smaller than the second number right print the first number if it's smaller than the second number that's kind of obviously written out there 52 which the following is an example of a conditional con construct and you have a i mean this is part of the program you know so you all know this already a if then else right so you have to put in that line in the in the program to get certain outcomes 53 when implementing a program which the following steps comes after executing and the answer is d interpreting good 54 which the following is not a high level programming language you have c java pascal or d which is the answer assembly right assembly d that's the answer which of the following terms is an invalid vari variable name which of the following terms is an invalid variable name and you have a sum of course yeah, you have seen that and so the best answer is b to count right to count then what is to count you know uh so it's count and vat 15 you know what that is but to count that's that that, 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 that ain't gonna work for nothing all right the design the decision box of a program flow chart shows the b test to be carried out so it's a flow chart so it shows all the different branches in which what, what can be done one after the other so what's to become it's going to be further down the flow chart all right 57 a computer programmer is coding an algorithm which calculates the class average for a given exam he creates a variable called class average class underscore average which data type should he specify when declaring this variable? And the answer here is, of course, A, because you want the, the real numbers, right? So, A. All right, 58 refers to the following algorithm. One asks users to ask users the length and width. Two, length, width. Three, area. Ooh. Length, asterisk, width okay this is a little blurry yes for area of rectangle is area okay which of the following options in the correct order can be used to replace one two and three in the algorithm and so we have c prompt read write all right the so prompt read write 59 which is the which which is a name given to an identifier that always holds the same value so like maths, huh? yes, we need maths to be able to think logically and do a, become a good programmer. All right, A, constant, right? It's constant, it's the same, constant. All right, the last one, the last one for the June, July 2020 information technology, paper one for CSEC. 60 refers to the following algorithm. Write, enter, price, one. Read, price, two. That equal price as time well asterisk but it would not be time but times 15 percent three write that four which line contains a processing statement and of course that's three because you have to calculate right there so the answer is c three all right so that's it the end of the exam the may sorry june july 2020 csec information technology paper one i mean that, that was the only paper last year so 
that's how that goes all right so you know what to do now again like subscribe share the video and that's it for this one all right so thanks for watching thanks for listening